When locking down the eyepieces, you may strain your eyes if the eyepieces are not corrected for your eyes, so it's recommended that you adjust the interpupillary distance on the microscope so that both the left and right field of view become one when looking through the eyepiece. Set the diopter adjustment on both eyepieces to the zero position by rotating the eyepiece as shown. Markings may vary between manufacturers and models of microscope. Olympus and Zeiss generally use numbers to identify the diopter setting. However, Nikon utilizes an engraved ring to mark the zero position. Rotate the inner and outer housing until the ring is only just showing. Start with a low magnification objective such as the 4x or 10x and focus the image by just using one eye. Use both the coarse and fine focus to obtain a crisp image. Close the eye that you just used and look through the other eyepiece with your other eye. Don't touch the focus wheels but rather adjust the diopter ring on the eyepiece if the image is out of focus at all. Move up to the highest magnification dry objective and repeat this procedure. This final adjustment is the one that you want to take note of and set the eyepieces to every time you use this microscope. A correctly aligned microscope will provide in-focus images at both the eyepiece and camera throughout the range of installed objectives with no or minimal readjustment of the focus wheels.